What is up, guys? Sam from the Sam Madden YouTube channel. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at a one play touchdown against the cover two shell out of the strong close formation. And this is a play that not too many players are running right now in this particular formation. But before we get into the video, guys, please do me a favor and hit that subscribe button. Also, make sure you guys take the time to hit that notification bell so you're notified daily when I upload here to the Zan Madden YouTube channel. If you guys want to watch me play Madden 20 Live, you guys can find me on my Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash Zan Madden. The link for that channel is below in the description, as is an ebook bundle link that will take you to my PayHip account. If you guys want my offense and my defense, I have them bundled together on my PayHip account, my 3-4 Bear comprehensive defense that I've been running since day one of Madden 20, as well as my new, well, new meaning about the last two to three months, Washington Redskins single back wing tight U offense that I use to attack the blitz, beat all the different coverage metas, and bomb every single coverage shell. So make sure you guys check that out if you're interested. Otherwise, let's get into today's tip. We're back in the Oakland Tour strong close formation. And the play that we're gonna be looking at is going to be the play double post. Now, early on in the year, the Oakland Raiders playbook was my primary book as it was for many other competitive players out there. Uh, as you can see, I have a number of calls out of this particular play, almost 600 in fact. And uh, this is actually one of my bigger play. Uh, it's kind of a shot play. Uh, as you can see, concept, it says shot play. Now, for this tip to be most optimal, you probably want to have somebody who has post flag elite at this spot um, in terms of catches and traffic. However, this play really doesn't matter when it comes to beating cover two for a one play score. So um, you're going to have a guy that's so wide open that it doesn't matter. Now, what I want to do here is I want to show you this play against the cover two defense. And um, I'm going to go ahead and kind of show you how uh, if I were to go ahead and motion this player out, Hopkins, and I'm going to go ahead and use my route combination that I typically like to use here, which is going to be a drag, a wheel, a tight end delay. Uh, I want you to watch Hopkins route and how he runs it. Uh, he's going to run this route and then he's going to run to the middle of the field. And let's see if I can get a little bit of time here, hopefully just to prolong it. You see how he just kind of stops. Um, so you don't want him to stop on that play because as you notice with the rest of the route combination, the safety that's on the short side of the field actually bites down against this route combination. So you see, right, take a look at that left side safety, how he basically runs down towards center field. And if Hopkins would just stay running his route, you could clearly see that also if we weren't pressured, you can see as we kind of raise the camera up a little bit, there's a lot of turf for him to run if he doesn't stop his route right there. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to show you a little bit of a motion snap that's going to help you out with this. So we're going to go right back to that same route combination with a fullback wheel, a drag to the backside receiver, and a tight end delay fade. Now, I'm also going to do one different thing here, but I'm not going to roll out. I'm actually going to motion snap, but not let Hopkins set. So I'm going to kind of motion snap him to the outside and snap the ball right there. I'm going to try to hang tough in the pocket. You notice how he stops running. I, I tried not to roll out right there, but he stops running. Now, what I'm going to do is on this particular play, I'm going to do the exact same thing, but this time I'm going to set up a blatant rollout on this play by doing my double team and ID the mic with my slide protect that's gonna allow the left defensive end to come in free off the edge. So what that's gonna do is that's gonna tell Lamar Miller, go ahead and cut block him. And that's gonna give me a free run to the left side of the field. So against the cover two shell, I'm gonna do that same motion, snap the ball right there before he hits the numbers, hit my cut block, and now I'm rolling out. Notice how when you roll out, if you wait too long, he will kind of stop again. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this just a little bit more quickly this time set up my exact route combination, and maybe even on this, snap the ball just a little bit earlier. So again, cover two shell. We're gonna snap the ball right about there, hit my cut block, and I'm rolling out. You're gonna see how he will just keep running. Now right there, we get on the run inaccurate because we don't have dashing dead eye on our quarterback, Deshaun Watson. So if you take a look here, uh, I don't know if I can pull up the ability wheel. Actually, I can't here, but he just has escape artist. So right there, we got a on the run inaccurate, but as you can see, he was running the route and we were gonna be able to throw it accurately if we had a dashing dead eye. So again, we'll go ahead and do the exact same thing here. 
Bastion Deadeye will guarantee that you get uh, an on the run accurate as opposed to when you don't have it, you dice roll a potential inaccurate throw. So that's what you saw in that previous example. So you see right here how we go ahead and do this. Now this time we go ahead and throw it. That time it's on the run accurate and we're able to hit a one play score over the top of that safety. Now this works best when you roll to the side that you want the post to continue running to. So if we go ahead and continue to show this route combination to you here, um, and I were to say maybe, let's go ahead and actually double team. Let's go ahead and double team over here and ID the mic on this side. If you try to do this same thing and keep rolling out, chances are he's going to stop his, his route in the middle of the field. Actually, right, yeah, and you see right there, he did. It looked like he was about to trick me into uh, throwing that ball. Um, it looked like he was going to stay running, but he ended up stopping because he was running away from where the quarterback was. Whereas when you roll to the left side of the field, he realizes, okay, well, that's where the quarterback is. Let me try to find that quarterback and make myself available to him. So here in this example, go ahead and do this, roll out, and throw that ball over the top of that cover two safety for the easy one play score. So you're going to be able to beat any cover two shell in the game, whether it's pinch dog two, whether it's, uh, you know, your true Tampa two. Uh, we talked about this yesterday. If they have a middle linebacker running deep right here, if you put matchup nightmare on your post route, also, uh, he will aggressive catch him. Now, obviously right here, Hopkins does not have this ability, so we're not going to see the results here in practice mode, but he will be able to make this catch um, if he has that ability. So you see here, we're going to go ahead and roll out. And now at this spot, you're just going to be able to ag catch this guy, um, which actually Hopkins still agged him anyways. But if you had the matchup Nightmare, you would be able to aggressive catch him on that play. Now, let me go ahead and just throw the ball uh, straight into traffic here. So that way Hopkins goes out of the zone. I want to go ahead and break down this route combination or in this uh, this route in general, this play in general against other covered shells. So I want to go ahead and go into maybe more of a cover four drop look, which is something that we oftentimes see. Uh, and you're going to notice that uh, we're going to run this just a little bit differently. Uh, this will not be a one play score against the cover four or the cover three. However, it is still a great play. Uh, most of the time that I ran this play for those, I think, 568 times at a nine yards per clip average, I was actually throwing diving posts to both the X and B receivers on this play. And what I like to do is if I faced cover three or cover four, which is basically just yellows and purples underneath, um, I knew that the stock route combination on this play gave me three options available. Uh, number one is obviously Darren Fells uh, over the middle for a check down. And then the two other options are going to be those diving posts. Uh, the nice thing about Darren Fells is that against the cover three and cover four, you have two hook curls and two purple zones. So if I were to show you cover three, uh, you see kind of the same thing. Now, dollar, they add a spy in. So the spy would actually cover the route that you could throw. But when you're facing cover four, He's going to sit down in between those hook curls really nicely. Uh, and if he pulls them down, that's going to open up the post route. Now, um, I like to use the same motion snap when we're throwing diving posts here. So you're going to be able to kind of throw, just throw the ball right there and get those diving animations right behind those hook curls uh, and in front of the safeties. Uh, and again, you could do the exact same thing to the other receiver as well. So you're going to see right here, we can go ahead and throw this ball to, uh, to Fuller and get those diving catches right there as well. So they have to defend one or the other in the motion spacing of this particular play makes it particularly difficult to defend Hopkins and also defend Fuller on that backside because you can't be in both places at one time. Uh, so now if we go to cover three here, uh, the other thing obviously is that the, uh, the Fells route, uh, let me go ahead and actually go back to cover four, show that real quick to you. If you want to check this down in the middle of the hook curls, you, you can. Um, if you wait to throw this too long, you may notice that you get those leaping animations in traffic. You want to throw them right on the cut. So take those reads as quickly as you possibly can, like right on the cut, just pop right there. And that's going to allow you to animate and get those diving animations behind the linebackers, uh, but in front of the safeties. Now, again, going back to cover three, again, it's the same principles, yellow zones and purple zones. You're going to be able to throw, uh, kind of throw this ball right there to Fuller. And I could do the same thing in cover three by motioning out, uh, Hopkins and throwing that ball right on the cut. So you see right here, we go to that same motion snap and just kind of let him work into that area of the field uh, where he tries the diving animation. Now, right there in that cover three, I think that uh, safety on the right rotated down over the middle. It kind of uh, threw a little bit of a wrench in the play. But, you know, if you if you know which side of the rotation, the safety is rotating down in cover three, um, obviously you can, you can attack it pretty well. You see right here, um, 
right there cover three uh the cover three corner does a pretty good job if that deep third is doing a good job of getting out there all you really need to do is put him in a spot where he realizes that there's another route attacking deep and that'll cause him to kind of widen out towards the sideline so a wheel route to galaspia we get the job done here uh allowing you to kind of make this throw so you're gonna see right here if we go to throw this notice how he can't hug that post route as tightly because the wheel route is going to be wheeling into his area a little bit later in the play uh, i know it's hard to tell but we'll go ahead and show you what i mean so notice how this route is getting out there and at this point on the previous play where the db made the swat on this same throw he can't hug that route as tightly he stays outside leverage because this wheel route could potentially attack down the sideline and he would have to be there as he gets behind this player that's in the purple zone so um, that's why that opens up this throw right here to this guy as he makes that diving catch in front of him so um, that's a way that you can attack cover three as well um, another way that you can try to attack cover three this way is are more difficult in my opinion is if you have a post uh, or a slot apprentice right here you can put him on a corner route fuller put him on a corner route to the sideline otherwise you could motion put him on a comeback and put him on a smart route if you don't have a slot apprentice uh but this route combination if you can get a rollout to the left side will allow hopkins on his route to kind of continue running that direction um to get you potentially this throw all the way you see right here he keeps running potentially get it all the way over the top it's a very very tough throw and honestly there are better one play scores in this particular playbook as it pertains to uh you know beating cover three like for instance the stock play action play does a much better job but let's say you don't have it in your audible for whatever reason you know this is something that you could you could do against the cover three as well um let me go ahead and check into cover three where you're going to be able to run fells on the streak and then have the skinny post um so you're gonna see right here how fells is designed to pull that guy and then you can throw this ball all the way over the top that's a much more clean one play score against the cover three um and you see that that's going to benefit you there but you know this play in general guys is is really really filthy uh really really filthy against zone uh when it comes to beating main coverage as well if you have post flag elite uh on either of those angled post routes they'll be able to get nice separation on the cut um so you'll be able to see right here you know he's going to be able to you know beat the guy right there um you'll be able to get those diving catches as well uh if they're not playing any type of press alignment give them a kind of a free release uh you should be able to see like fuller here i, I think he'll be able to to win you see right here we throw that ball right there as well it, it, this is a good man beater as well so if they play that heavy blitz where you know maybe they check into like uh an all out blitz type thing here this is one of those plays where if you can actually get your protection down um you're going to be able to attack pretty well so you see right here against spinner uh how hopkins is very clearly open on his cut as was uh fuller on his cut over the middle and there were no real check down routes on that play but this play double post is uh honestly one of my favorites i think it's criminally underused by players who run the oakland tour uh just because both those those post routes are such great diving post options against zone coverage and you really need those uh those routes that can attack the middle of the field and and be safe without taking hits and the fact that you know you've got an easy easy one play score against your cover two uh, it makes it that much better this is one of those route combinations i just haven't seen too many players running this year uh and it, it makes me wonder why um i mean you can see right here as i try to roll out he's gonna he's gonna end up stopping on his route oh nope he did he actually kept running uh but you see how just how easy it is to beat cover two and um you know not a lot of players have been running that setup so hopefully you guys liked the video if you did make sure to give it a thumbs up any questions comments concerns or complaints drop them below make sure that you guys are subscribing to the channel we'll be uploading here every single day here into the summer as we push towards madden 21 i appreciate all the support on the channel and until tomorrow, guys, this is Zan. Get in the lab and good luck.